Hey everybody, this is my HHO setup for my 2009 Ford F-150. Right now everything's just kind of being placed where I want to put it and I'm uh, passivating and activating the dry cell right now. Uh, so nothing's actually fully installed right now. I just have the setup actually held in place by zip ties to get an idea of where I was going to put it. And now I'm going to actually have some mounting back. It's fabricated to uh, mount this where it is now. So you can see here, the unit is producing hydrogen. And what I mean by passivation and activation process, what I did is I took lemon juice, which is nitric acid, and I let it sit inside the dry cell. And it builds up like a sticky residue, which will help carry the electrolyte much better. And it'll actually help corrosion of the steel as well. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just running it at a very low amperage to kind of seal that nitric acid into place. So I just have it running into a bowl of water just to kind of make sure it's flowing. It's flowing fairly nice. Right now, as you can see right there, it's getting uh, quite a bit of flow. And it's actually very little amps right now. So uh, I'm going to go into the cab and I'll show you guys how much power it's drawing. So, right there you're looking at 2.5, 2.6 amps. It's, it's coming in around anywhere from 2 to 3 amps. And that's a good way to start your project and get that uh, activation process sealed. Uh, usually when it's running normally in a vehicle, you're going to have 8 to 10, maybe 15 amps. But uh, right now, for the first 5, 10 minutes or so, it's going to run at about 2 to 3. So right there is my uh, HHO control kit. Just exposed right now, uh, and you know I have a nice place underneath there to tuck it in and, and away from everything. And uh, there's my toggle switch to turn off the Pro Tuner. So turning that off literally turns the system off. And yeah, so that's it. That's your uh, that's your circuit. Back to the system here. So. Still flowing real nice. Keep you guys posted.